Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Talk Daddy 77 Thanks for the suggestion, Talk Daddy. You asked, which is better, a timing chain or a timing belt? Now, if you've ever popped your car's hood and pretended you knew what you were looking at, this is the question for you. Beneath that maze of pipes, plastic, and don't touch stickers lies a small but mighty hero. The thing that keeps your engine's rhythm in sync. But should that hero be made of metal links or rubber teeth? Let's find out which one really deserves the spotlight right here on Explaining Everything. Okay, before we throw punches, let's make sure we know what we're fighting about. Your car's engine is basically an over-caffeinated orchestra. The crankshaft turns to move the pistons up and down, while the camshaft opens and closes the valves that let air and fuel in. And exhaust out. But these two have to be perfectly synchronized, or your engine starts performing interpretive dance instead of music. That's where the timing belt or chain comes in. It connects the crankshaft to the camshaft and keeps everything running in. Well, perfect timing. Think of it like the world's most stressful game of double dutch. If that rope skips a beat, Something's breaking. So both the chain and the belt do the same thing. But how they do it, that's where the feud begins. Let's start with the timing belt. Timing belts are made of reinforced rubber, kind of like a beefed up version of the thing holding your pants up. Except if your pants fall, nobody dies. The belt's big advantage? It's quiet and lightweight. When it replaced the old noisy timing chains back in the 1960s and 70s, car owners rejoiced. Suddenly, engines were smoother, cheaper to make, and a lot less clunky. But here's the catch. Rubber doesn't last forever. Heat, friction, and time slowly wear it down. Most belts need replacing every 60,000 to 100,000 miles, or about every five to seven years. If you forget, well, that's when things get expensive. In engines called interference engines, which most modern ones are, if the belt snaps, the pistons and valves crash into each other like two drunk uncles at a wedding. You don't just need a new belt, you need a new engine. Replacing the belt itself isn't too bad. But missing that maintenance window is like ignoring your dentist for five years. You'll pay for it later, painfully and loudly. So yes, timing belts are cheaper and quieter, but they're also the clingy ones in the relationship. Constant attention, regular checkups, and if you neglect them, they will destroy everything you love. Now, let's talk about timing chains, the old-school tough guys. Chains are made of metal links, like a bicycle chain, but meaner. They used to be standard in older cars, but fell out of favor for a while because they were noisy and heavy. Automakers wanted quieter rides and cheaper production, so they switched to belts. But then, technology happened. Modern timing chains are quieter, stronger, and way more precise. And since they're metal, they don't degrade like rubber. With proper oil changes and care, a chain can last the entire life of the engine, over 200,000 miles. That's right, it's the till death do us part of engine components. However, chains have their own drama. They're more expensive upfront, can stretch over time, and if your oil gets dirty or low, they can start rattling or even jump teeth. 
which is engine code for you're in trouble, buddy. Plus, replacing one is no small task. If a timing belt is like changing your shoes, replacing a chain is like open-heart surgery on your car. It's labor-intensive, expensive, and can involve tearing the whole engine apart. But if you take care of it, that chain will outlive your car, your warranty, and possibly your patience. So, which is better? If you're looking for low-cost and quiet operation, the timing belt is your friend. Like a soft-spoken co-worker who does their job without fuss but quits after five years. If you prefer longevity and strength, the timing chain takes the crown. It's the co-worker who's been there since the 90s, complains about nothing, and could probably bench-press your car. But here's a twist. Many new belts are now made of high-strength materials like Kevlar or fiberglass, and they run in oil, combining the quietness of belts with the durability of chains. These wet belts are kind of the hybrid children of the family, the Prius of timing systems. So the best choice really depends on your priorities. Want a smoother, quieter, and cheaper engine? Belt. Want something that'll last basically forever if you keep your oil clean? Chain. Honestly, it's like comparing a cat and a dog. Both get the job done. Both can ruin your day if ignored. And both will demand attention at the worst possible moment. What really matters is maintenance. Keep your oil clean. Follow your car's schedule, and whichever one your engine has will keep things running smoothly. Because at the end of the day, whether your engine's got a chain or a belt, if you forget to service it, it won't matter. You'll be walking. If you enjoyed this deep dive into your engine's belts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe go check on yours now. Maybe it's time for a replacement. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.